I decided to take Fluent Forms and Formidable Forms, both WordPress form builder plugins for a test drive to figure out which one is best for lead generation. They're both packed with features, but I'm really concerned with lead generation and the ability to create nice and user-friendly with a positive good or positive or great UI, I should say, to generate and capture leads. So Formidable Forms, Fluent Forms, Let's jump into it. First of all, as I said, they're already both packed with a ton of features. At least, you know, that's where they kind of portray themselves. And here we are on Formidable Forms sales page. You can see they've got conditional logic, survey, surveys and polls, repeater fields, confirmation fields, multi-page forms. This is crucial. Um, I use those a lot. And then they've got all kinds of integrations and stuff going on. Probably more features than most people are going to use. Like I said, I'm kind of sticking to the lead generation, which is relatively simple stuff. But let's just say that you wanted to include Stripe to capture payments. Well, you, then you need to be on the Elite plan here at $399. Or you wanted to use the Calculator feature. Uh, where is the Calculator feature? Control F Calculator. Calculator forms. And you would need to be on this plan here, which I think is $199 per year, right? So... Uh, to really get the most of it, you're going to have to pay $199 a year. To get all of it, you're going to have to pay $399 a year. But you do get unlimited sites. With Fluent Forms, they package everything, uh, basically all the features we describe, including Stripe into it, for $59 a year for one site or $199 for unlimited sites. So... 399 is all features on Unlimited versus Fluent Forms 199. Uh, across the board, Fluent Forms is a little bit cheaper, but I'm not really too concerned about price. I want something that really does the job right and optimally. So let's jump into it here. We're going to start with Fluent Forms. This is Fluent Forms in my WordPress admin area. Uh, and I kind of set up a test form here. And let me go into Edit. And when it loads... When it loads, when it loads, when it loads, when it loads, uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out first of all was that there's not exactly a name field, right? Uh, Fluent Forms has that where you just drag and drop the name. To do a name in here, you had to do text and then I relabeled it first name and last name. So not the end of the world, but it's just nice when Fluent Forms has that, you know, all built in. Um, but then things come up when you want to start visually editing the form. So I made this form. This is a multi-step, which is why you see the one, two, and three. Uh, but I made this form right here, and then I see first name, last name. Well, I want to have first name and last name side by side, which is how Fluent Forms does it. So we come into the Fluent Forms editor. Where you can see first name, last name side by side, and you just drag and drop that right in like so. Uh, but in formidable forms, like I said, we have to rename the text fields, right? So then to get them side by side, I'm like, well, how do we do it? So I start clicking around and then CSS layout. Well, here you can select a half. And then for this one, you select the other half, right? So now when you preview this, you'll see they look, they're side by side, right? Uh, well, I need to go to the next step, next step. So then you see first name, last name, side by side, but that's not really what's reflected here. Now, when it comes to, you know, kind of stylizing this and getting things right on the front end, you cannot just with formidable forms, you cannot just edit the form. What you have to do here is kind of take another step and go to styles and then create a style. Create a style in here, and then you basically apply the style to the form. I, I felt this was a little complicated and a little, uh, I don't want to say bloated, but not too user-friendly. Whereas with Fluent Forms, check this out, we can come in here, and then we can click on Preview and Design. And in here on the side, we can start customizing pretty much everything on this form. Right, so it's it, it's more of a, I don't know if it's called a front-end designer, but it's more of a uh, visual designer to, you know, actually designing the front. I guess it is a front-end visual designer is what I'm saying here. So you can edit things on here, which is much nicer about Fluent Forms, right? 
Um, overall, I felt like the kind of user interface of creating the forms was much, much easier and kind of more intuitive with Fluent Forms. For example, when I set this form up right here, I didn't really have to go anywhere and look anything up. It just kind of made it. All right, I just made this thing in like literally 10 minutes. It, it was really kind of plug and play and I, I knew, I felt like I knew what I was doing and I could get it to do everything I wanted to. When I was in Formidable Forms, I had to start Googling some things. I had to Google, how do we get these 50-50, right? Um, I had to Google, well, some other things that I'm going to cover. So let's kind of jump into that. Here's what's cool about Fluent Forms and check this out. If we preview it, I'm not going to go to that screen yet. We'll talk about that in a second. But if you preview it and we're viewing the form like we are right here in Fluent Forms, if I select one of these options, a multiple choice option, it'll go on to the next step. So watch, select it. Boom, it automatically goes on to the next step. It also works with a drop down menu like this. So select, automatically went on to the next step. If you do this in formidable forms, well, formidable forms can't do it. Uh, I guess that's a simple way of saying it. But if we do this, if we go back from the beginning and we go to select it, then you also have to select next. So the user has to select the option and select next. Whereas with fluent forms here, the user just has to select their option and then they auto advance. So formidable forms didn't have any type of auto advance feature in it. The user has to click next. And then when the user clicks next, it takes some time to load. Notice this load time, right? So click next, load, 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 right? So fluent forms is pretty fast between all of these steps. So if we go back to the beginning, well, you see how fast it's going right there. Click and go select and go, and it's pretty much right there. So the user interface is far superior in Fluent Forms. All right, and what else am I missing here? Uh, finally, one of the big things that I wanted to set up was what are called conditional landing pages. They're not conditional landing pages, but conditional thank you pages. And this can be used to optimize the conversion event in paid advertising platforms like Facebook ads. So for example, Let's just say that we are generating leads for remodeling services here, right? And now we're gonna ask this question, how soon would you like to get it done? Well, somebody that selects within one month is going to be a lot more qualified. They're gonna be a higher quality lead than somebody that selects just kicking tires. So we would wanna optimize for this and create a different conversion event for the people that select that just one month or within a month, right? Well, to do that, my approach would be to send them to a special thank you page, a conditional thank you page. In Fluent Forms, that was very easy to set up. So here's how we did it. We would come here and we would go to settings and integrations. And then under other confirmations, we'll wait for this to load. Just go add a confirmation uh, to a custom URL and we'll just say, thank you dash positive and then enable conditional logic and then here we go we select this question how soon would you like to get it done equal to within one month then we could save this and now these people that select this within one month are going to go to a special thank you page and then we can use that thank you page to record the conversion event in google ads or facebook ads etc so that's how this works right now to set this up in formidable forms it got pretty confusing to the point where I didn't even complete doing it. I kind of got, you know, halfway down there. You'd go settings. And actually, before we go to settings, let's just kind of do this just to see if we can make it more clear. We'll set this to the same thing. How soon would you like to get this done? Uh, within one month, two to four months, just kicking tires. So we'll save it, then we'll go back to settings. All right, so we'll go in here to settings now in formidable forms.
And then down here on submit, redirect to URL. And we can set this redirect to URL in here and I'm just gonna set it to Google. Right, and then conditions. If, how soon would you like to get it done equals, and then you don't really have your options, right? So I'm like trying to set it equals, like it just doesn't pop up to where you're going to select or where you would just select that option. Whereas in fluent form here, you just select your answers. Formidable forms does not have that functionality. So you'd have to, I don't know, go in somewhere and get possibly a CSS class or something to put it in there. And then it kind of generates this code here, which is a little bit more complex. So, um, you know, in five minutes of searching, I could not figure out how to get it to do this conditional thank you page, right? Whereas with Fluent Forms, I was just able to go in, boom, boom, I'm done, right? So uh, a lot easier to set that up. And finally, the final thing I'll show you guys here is Fluent Forms has a full screen landing page built into it. So we can go here to landing page in Fluent Forms. And then go here. And now here it loads this full screen landing page. And these landing pages have been working killer for me. I'm sending thousands of dollars a day in paid traffic to landing pages like this. And it's got it already set up. It looks nice, simple. It's uh, kind of visually friendly and it's really focused on that conversion event, which is getting somebody to go through. So Fluent Forms also has the landing page built into it. If you were to do this in Formidable Forms, you'd have to set up a landing page and use like a landing page builder to do it, um, another plugin. You couldn't do this natively inside of the WordPress contact form. So for all those reasons, I find Fluent Forms to be the best option of these two for lead generation and setting up nice, high converting multi-step contact forms. And also with the pricing, you get so many other options that maybe you need, maybe you don't need. But with the level of, how should I say this, the level of uh, development that has gone into developing Fluent Forms to where it is, I would expect that you know, we subsequently see that difference, just as we've seen here between the user interface and the designer and the actual forms that Fluent Form creates versus Formidable Forms. I would expect that you kind of see that same uh, correlating, uh, the same correlating, the same correlation of positivity to Fluent Forms as you see to formidable forms through all their other features. Um, that's just kind of a long way of saying that I would expect Fluent Forms to be doing better across all of the other features here that we didn't look into because we could go into this deep and go into it very deep for hours. That said, going forward, I'm gonna be working with Fluent Forms over formidable forms. I wanna know though, what's your favorite form builder plugin? Let me know in the comments below, guys. On that note, I'm calling it a wrap on this video. Look for the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group somewhere around the comments. Join in, I share more marketing insight and experiences and even my own experiments on what I'm doing as far as putting money into paid advertising. So look for that group guys, join. I'll see you on the other side. I'm signing off on this one.